A, hi, in this video, I will quickly walk you through what is Grafana Cloud and how the Grafana um, uh, Cloud uh, web page looks like and what are the uh, tasks that we do by default into the Grafana Cloud. Okay, so let me just give a brief introduction um, in general about what is the Grafana Cloud and all. Okay, so this is just a, a screenshot of Grafana Cloud's organization. Okay, so with that note, let's directly jump to the our website that is called grafana.com. Okay, so if you want to access the Grafana Cloud website, you have to go to the grafana.com. And if you have the subscription at the grafana.com or grafana cloud, you can directly log in here. Okay. Whereas if you don't have the uh, subscription to the uh, grafana cloud, you can opt in um, 15 days or 14 days uh, free subscription from grafana cloud. Okay. With using only user ID and the password here, user ID, you can use it as a email. Okay. Once you create your own account with using email, you have to authenticate it. Okay. And once you authenticated, you can access the, uh, the Grafana cloud uh, dashboard. Okay. So before I show you like how you can create an account. So let me give a brief uh, overview about what, for what purpose the Grafana cloud is being used. Okay. So Grafana cloud, as you know, that's the, in, in current uh, modern, um, enterprise world observability becoming a kind of uh, much need okay why because it provides a kind of uh, uh, you know uh, monitoring uh, solution okay in the sense let's say uh, the enterprise has hosted their application into the kubernetes or iot's or, or any kind of uh, i mean virtual uh, any workload for example linux vms or any other kind of devices and they want to have the observability throughout the life cycle or throughout the business life cycle okay so in that case they have to have some certain solution which can uh, do the or which can have the uh, eye on these workloads okay so in that case we, we we will come a term called monitoring okay so monitoring kind of monitoring was the in in, in good old days uh, uh, a kind of enterprise uh, solution which will provide us a, a similar kind of monitoring or observability solution but but that was the old day okay that was in the old olden days but now as the workloads has been changed in the sense nowadays uh, kubernetes are getting very famous and also uh, containers are getting very famous and we also using the extensively iot's across the industries okay so in that case uh, the traditional monitoring solution may not be the right fit okay so in this case the observability comes in picture okay so observability is not a, just like a, a state forward monitoring solution okay it is just a beyond that okay so it has its own, uh, um, I mean, advantages and it is its own capability to suit to the monitoring workload. Okay. Yeah. So that is the reason um, uh, uh, the Grafana uh, uh, cloud comes in picture where it provides a software as a service in the sense it provides a, a software, a kind, a kind of platform uh, through on which we can just publish our workloads monitoring data. And from there we can have the uh, monitoring dashboards, alertings, and also we can have an eye on our workloads. Okay. So that's where the, this, uh, the Grafana service comes in picture. Okay. So if you want to create now, let's go get back to the, uh, the state forward demo. So here I will show you that how you can create an, uh, an example free account for that one you need to have a valid email so just click on this button called create free account so once you click on the create free account you have to provide a valid e email and set your password okay so once you set your e valid email and password automatically a link will be sent to your email id and from the email or from your inbox okay you have to authenticate that particular uh, uh, link once you have authenticated to the particular link you can you will become a um, authorized user to access the Grafana cloud. Okay. So by default, as I say, if you are opting in the free trial, it will provide Grafana cloud is providing as of now 15 days free travel in the sense, 15 days free trial subscription through which you can explore the Grafana cloud observability stacks. Okay. As I already have the account. So let me log in with using my user ID. Okay. And uh, then let me uh, provide my password as well. Okay, so once we provide our user ID and password, we can log in into the uh, uh, the Grafana Cloud, something like this. Okay, it will redirect a page which I have shown in the screenshot. Okay, this is how the page look, looks like in. Okay, so before I show you that how you can create a stack and walk you through the components of the Grafana Cloud stack, let me quickly walk you through the uh, the the uh, the panes here. Okay, that will help us. That will help you to. Um, uh, roam around I mean that will help you to walk around these uh, uh, complete web page okay so here we have the uh, the information about the Grafana product open source learn okay and downloads contact us etc etc okay similarly so if you come down right so we have one something called drop down okay let me tell you what is this so this is one they call it as a organization in the sense it's a it's a kind of highest 
root container okay in the sense uh, at grafana cloud they provide a root container called org organization and they they call it as organize uh, orgs okay so into that org we can keep uh, a kind of certain limited number of or fixed number of uh, grafana cloud okay they have their own limit so up to that limit we can create our own grafana cloud stacks okay so grafana cloud stack is nothing but one one instance of your observability stacks okay yeah so that is about the uh, grafana cloud and in this one left side pane okay there are multiple options so all these options are nothing but like a kind of features or properties of this grafana cloud org page okay so as i explained like the the grafana cloud this is this is the place where we actually create the grafana cloud stacks okay and th th there is a one more option called grafana enterprise and uh, where we see the lic license related data Similarly, at security, we have the API key related data, advanced authentication, authorization clients data will be present here. Okay. Similarly, for support related tickets or any kind of uh, uh, ticket lifecycle, this is the place where you come and see. Okay. And similarly, for billings, okay, any kind of billing related to your stacks, okay, this is the place where we see the billing. Okay. Similarly, organization setting, in the sense, for this particular organization, uh, we have the settings being generated here. In the sense, that we have the plugins. Uh, my dashboards the dashboards can be controlled here similarly the member settings okay this is where um, this is where we uh, add delete and provide the permissions to the users okay yeah so that is the just a quick walk through the options of the uh, pane options of this particular grafana uh, cloud org page okay so for example let's create one exemplary um, uh, stack in this okay i can create that so let me um, let me give an example name let me give as an example um ob stack okay nothing but observability stack huh? so and as, as of now uh, grafana cloud is using us to use these re these reasons okay let me use this so once i click on the button create stack see we are having our observability stack or observability workloads getting spinned up within no minute of time okay so that is where the advantages of grafana cloud comes in picture okay think about uh, um, handing it on your own right so in that case you need to manage you need to maintain you need to first host the well, host the nodes or or uh, or the uh, servers then on top of the servers you need to host these applications and plan your application resources maintain your networking maintain your security right so all those stuffs are being evaluated i mean completely vanished now you just have to come here spin up a stack and point your workloads or point your data source to push the data into this uh, by the uh, the grafana stack and have your visibility have your observability done on it okay so that is how so let's let me quickly walk you through these components of a particular stack okay once you spin up one stack under the stack by default we have six options okay so let me tell you what is the first one the grafana as the namespace this is the original um, uh, original web app through which we can have the we can see the grafana dashboard okay so generally you might be aware like when you say grafana is just like a dashboard okay in the sense it's a visualizing service okay so this is the place where you click on and and have that visualizing website okay once you click on that particular login button it will redirect us to a new page you see the website name okay that it's a dynamic website that is being generated by based on our um, stack name and ending with dot grafana dot net forward slash login okay let me log in with default users once i log into default user it will take us to a grafana website okay you might be well known with this website okay yeah huh? so this is where we manage our dashboards files folders alerting exploration uh, any kind of integrations with with those uh, uh, data or metrics or, or logs etc etc all those monitoring tasks will be done in this dashboard okay in this web page okay whereas under the hood the stacks will be managed from here okay so that is about the grafana and let me explain the promotis okay likewise grafana we have the promotis okay so promotis as you already know known that promotis is meant to for for scrapping the data right similarly here so promotis is a kind of component in this uh, grafana cloud stack where we can push our uh, the workloads metrics is okay let's say we want to monitor kubernetes workload with using grafana clouds okay this is the place we come here and we grab the endpoint data in the sense we want to push the metrics okay now to this stacks to this uh, um, grafana cloud stack okay so in that case what we do is we come here we grab these endpoint data in the sense this is the url endpoint and this is the username and this is the password uh, key okay 
and with using the, this data what we do is we configure our remote right okay for example in kubernetes we mention this data into our kubernetes specification file okay which will help us to push this data to this particular point okay so this is nothing but kind of a small container within this stack where the metrics data will be published into this place okay and the metrics related data can be uh, sent to this particular grafana stack with using those credentials okay that's what uh, this prometheus option tells all about yeah once the once the once the metrics are are means the prometheus metrics data comes in picture here or or the active series starts pumping the data here then automatically we can see the those metrics data here by using our dashboard okay so that is how you need to connect the dots here okay similarly we have the other components called loki as the name space so this is the kind of one more component within the stack where we can have the logging services okay so at observability we do care about majorly three kind of uh, uh, three kind of so three kind of data okay one is the metric okay metric tells about like how your resources are behaving with your workloads okay nothing but cpu memory disk networking so all those resources consumption numbering will be there no so that is called so that kind of configuration is called that kind of um, data is called metrics log is nothing but something like uh, you know whenever there is a, a, a transaction happens in your application so we would be generating some logs in the sense that this process has been successfully completed this process has been failed okay this is this is currently in a waiting stage okay so kind of log kind of uh, you know kind of events which we say we call it as a logs okay we want to uh, so we call those as a logs now we want to have those logs collected from our work workloads and to be stored and we want to have observability on that loan okay so this is place this is the place where we do where we have the where we have to do something okay nothing but we we gather the uh, uh, the loki connection data from here and we put it across on our workload something like this okay by following these configurations been suggested okay and henceforth we can have our logs being pushed into this grafana cloud stack okay and from once the logs gets pumped in, pumped in into this particular stack and we can have the observability with using this website of the particular stack okay and that is how the this loki tells all about similarly graphite okay as it says as it says the graphite metric service in the sense again it's a addendum uh, kind of metric related data but yeah majorly famous one is is prometheus and loki so okay similarly it's it's again depends on the use case okay based on the use case you we can consume this data as well okay similarly likewise how we saw the connection data we see connection data of this graphite once we click on this graphite uh, details okay right so this is how it has the metric endpoint uh, and it has the username password okay so again i would encourage you to explore on yourself but this is how it looks similarly let's go for the tempo as well so okay as i said like there is a one more type of data right i told about metric i told again about the logging similarly there is one more type of data that is a traces in the sense uh, uh, let's say a traces in the sense when the application life cycle has been completed then we uh, when let's say there is a, some issue happen okay so in that case the traces will help us to identify i diagnose the issues okay that's where the traces comes in picture similarly we have uh, under the particular stack we have a one more component called tempo so this will help us to set up and manage our tracing services in this sense this provides us a, to capture our traces okay and from the once the traces have been captured we can have the visualization at this particular website nothing but particular graphite uh, grafana dashboards okay yeah so this is again have the connections related data will be there in this page okay so similarly let me go to the final component there is a one more component called alerts okay it will help us to set up and manage our prometheus based alerts in the sense um in 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 kubernetes workloads right we have the uh, prometheus as a scraper okay and nothing but which will help us to gather the uh, the logs metrics from the workloads and and, and uh, which will help us to uh, gather the required data in the sense like metric logs traces okay and from those data we can have the alerting okay so this is the option one more option within the stack within the grafana stack where we can have our own alerting configured okay yeah so that's all okay um i have covered the all the components by default uh, can be created under uh, an example um, grafana stack okay yeah and this is how we set up and uh, okay this is how it looks for the free trial free trial free trial in the sense of 14 days free trial um, are free uh, version of uh, grafana cloud whereas for the enterprise service or whereas the uh, the further in the sense uh, the licensed uh, 
uh, accessibility would probably look different okay so with that note i have given uh, the enough information which you need to get started with the grafana cloud okay so in in future videos i will be focusing more on in this in the sense in the next video i will be focusing more on like how we can actually put our data from uh, um, kubernetes workload for example eks cluster to into this particular stack and have the observability done here okay so that will be coming in my next video okay P please have a uh, watch in that one as well yeah so with that note thank you thanks a lot for watching my videos kind of request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot okay with that note thank you thanks a lot